Hey guys, this is the quick introduction into what's going to be coming up in the next video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the different cases for I values. We're going to be doing a quick example of how to calculate Y bar, the distance to the centroid and how to calculate the I value. And that should just be a refresher for you guys. So in this video, we're going to be looking at all the different cases of I values. So we're not really used to thinking of the I value as changing. So say if you had just have like a steel section, like a steel I beam, the I value is just the I value. But for concrete or specifically reinforced concrete, the I value can change, okay? And the I value can change based on several different things. The first thing is the age, okay? So you could have concrete at 28 days or at 30 years. So in a whole variety of different ages, the I value can change. The thing which is changing the I value is the elastic modulus. So 28 days and at 30 years, you could have a different elastic modulus and the code shows you how to work this out. So the first thing which matters is the age. The age um, will impact the elastic modulus, which will in turn impact the I value. We're gonna be looking in the next couple of videos at 28 days and at 30 years, but you could have in theory any, any time period you want. The next thing that's gonna impact the I value of the concrete is the state of the concrete. So the, the state of the concrete, what I mean by that is the concrete could be cracked or uncracked. So for example, if you're at 28 days and you have a massive load in your concrete section, it could crack. But if you have no load in your concrete section, it could um, be uncracked. And the reason that changes the I value is because it shifts the location of the neutral axis. So for example, if we look over here, the uncracked concrete will have a neutral axis around there but the cracked concrete, everything below this neutral axis over here is cracked, okay? So the, the location of the neutral axis is shifted up. Because all this area now has gone, the, lo the location of the neutral axis will shift up closer to the, um, the, where the area is most densely located, which is over there, okay? So as you can see, the location of the neutral axis, depending whether it's cracked, uncracked or cracked, will um, definitely shift or change the I value. The next thing which is going to impact the I value and the last thing is the action. So we could have hogging or sagging onto our beam. Okay, so you can see there's three different things which impact the I value. Just to show you how